the defined kind of structures. So a structure is a member or a combination of member which can carry load you wish to call as a structure. If the structure do not any carry load, then we call a non-structural member. Okay. Now structures can be classified depending on how they are carrying the load. Okay. For example, truss. Truss is basically a member which can carry the load in the acceleration. Okay. If the load is acting in that uh, acceleration, we call as a truss member. Okay. So what happened in the truss? For example, you have seen the railway bridges that are is a, your pure example of your truss member where we design the connection in such a way, okay, that we design the connection in such a way that structure basically transfer the load, the structure transfer the load through the member and in the only acceleration. There is no deform, bending deformation in the truss member, okay. And one more thing you'll also observe that in the truss we apply the load in that nodal point, okay. Since we are applying the load in the nodal point and the connection also pin connected, pin connection means that will not, uh, uh, that will not basically allow any bending, basically allow uh, that will allow the rotation okay the pin connection is there that will allow rotation okay that will allow rotations okay since the connection is a pin connection and we are applying the load in that uh, connection point so basically load is transferred through the axial as axial force only so we used to call as a truss member now second is the beam beam basically try to transfer the load through bending okay so if you have a uh, uh, structure like this and we are applying some load here Okay, in that case, the structure will try to bend and will try to bend and it will transfer the load, transfer the load. Okay, that we used to call the beam. Okay, now column member is basically one compression member. Okay, where basically it can carry that axle. Primarily, it can carry the axle force. Okay, column also can try to, uh, can bend. Okay, but primary way uh, that a column member can transfer the load is through that uh, compression. Okay, in a truss, there can be tensile force as well as the compressive force both okay but in a column normally we design to carry or tensile force sorry they didn't design to carry compressive force okay and we also while designing you also allow to bend and to bending column also can carry some load because for example if we apply the load and if load is not in the centric point, okay, it's very difficult to apply the load in the center of a column. Okay, if load is applied in some eccentricity, in that case, there will be some sort of bending. So basically, in the column, primarily we design for to carry to carry compressive force, but it also allow to carry some sort of uh, your bending. Okay, now frame is basically a combination of truss member and that uh, or or beam. Okay, so basically in the frame we allow the structures to carry axial force as well as the bending both okay, now come to the plate plate the one type of structure is basically plate basically the thin structures which carry the load through bending okay if the structures carry the load through bending okay if thin plate like structure if it carry the load through bending then we should call this a plate okay in the membrane in membrane basically do not bend it basically transfer the load in the in that in the deformation okay in that your in a plane okay basically it transfer the load in a plane in a plane okay to deformations but not through that bending okay now cell is basically a combination of plate and that membrane okay membrane action where that uh, structure do not bend that transfer the load through the membrane force okay which actually act in a in the in that member okay in that in a plane okay not out of plane in, in plane uh, deformation will be there okay that is to call the membrane action in the cell basically it can carry the load through bending basically bending means out of plane deformation will be there okay and in that in the membrane there will be deformation in plane deformation will be there okay now cell is basically combination of plate action as well as the membrane actions okay so i hope you got some idea what are the different kind of structure we have and what are the definitions of the structures? Okay. Thank you.